Hi everyone, Miss Fontaine here. Today we're going to work on comparing works of art by using the Metropolitan Museum of Art Kids website, Met Kids. The link is in the assignment for you to click on. And before you head over to that link, I'm going to ask that everyone gets a piece of paper and something to write with. Uh, today you will be choosing two pieces of artwork that you enjoy. And I am going to ask that you share a little bit of information about that art with me. So it's best that you have something to write with before you begin. So before we start, I'm actually going to give you a little tour of this web page. Um, so today we're actually going to hop in the time machine. But first I thought I would show you the map and the videos. I click on explore the map. It takes me to an interactive map that I can just grab and kind of move through. I'm able to click on works of art. And it takes me to showing me where in the museum they are. You get a nice big picture of it. Fun fact about the artwork, it shares the title, what it's made of, the year it was made, where it was made, and where I can find it if I was to go to the museum. To get back, I can just click on Met Kids, brings me right back to this home page. If I click on Watch Videos, it's going to bring me to videos of how to make different types of art and how kids interact at the Met with artists and art creators. Going over to Back to Met Kids. I'm going to hop in the time machine. So the time machine is a really cool way to find specific pieces of art based off your interests. And as I scroll down, there are three different categories that I can choose from. You can pick a topic from every category. And down here, it's going to show you just how many pieces of artwork that is going to result in. So by choosing these three, it's only going to give me three pieces of artwork. I personally like to just pick maybe one, maybe two, and then I get a wider selection. But it's really up to you what you'd like to do. Ah, so I'm going to check out 2000 to 1000 BC, art from the ancient world, and there are 10 results. I'm going to go home over here and push my button to start my time machine. And it brings me to this great listing of art from this specific time period. So your job today is to check out different categories and find a few pieces of artwork that speak to you. Ooh, love this. So this is the hippopotamus. Ah, and he's actually the unofficial mascot of the Met. He's made of fiance. He was made in 1961 to 1878 BC. Wow, it's really long ago. Made in Africa or in Egypt. So I love, I love the color. I love the designs on him. And he's just very cute. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come up here. I'm going to click my two fingers on my mouse pad, and I'm going to press duplicate. What's that going to do is it's going to leave this artwork open for me. So I can come back and see this information to write down, because I am going to want to know the title of the artwork that you like, the year that it was made, and the location that it was made. So now that I've duplicated, I can go back and hit on the time machine again. Huh. Let's see. I'm going to try creatures. 53 pieces of artwork. Let me push that time machine button again. And it brings me to another page with 53 works of art. Oh, well. Love this. The whale transformation mask. Huh. Made of wood, paint, cord, metal, leather, and denim. Tells me that it's made of found materials and it looks very much like that. Made in the 19th century in North and Central America or Canada. Oh, well, I love the creature and I love that it's made of found materials. It looks like the mouth opens and closes. Very, very cool piece of artwork. So now that I found two pieces of artwork that I love, that I think are really, really awesome, I'm going to head over to Google Classroom. And in our assignments, there's the Met Kids Museum tour, where you find found this video and the link to the Met Museum website and a Google form. I'm going to click right on that. When you come in here, it's going to ask you to make sure that you've already written down some information about your artwork, or you could have both pages open, just like that. I'm going to ask that you write down the name of the artwork you found. with commas 
and let me know the years that it was created. I'd also like to know the country that it comes from. I'm going to fill in that information for both pieces of artwork that you found. And then I'd love for you to share two things that are similar and two things that are different. So when I head back over here to look at my artwork, I think it's very evident that two things that are similar is that they're creatures. Uh, and we know that Miss Fontaine loves her animals. So it's no surprise that I would have picked these two. Um, I also think they're similar because they have markings on them. While these markings seem a lot more like the markings of the materials it's made with, whereas these were carved or painted, I think they both have markings on them. And I think that's the distinguishing factor about the artwork. Things that are very different about them, well, they're made in completely different time periods. This is made in the 19th century. So that's the 1800s. This is made all the way back in BC, way before zero. Uh, it's a really long time ago. Um, so that's a very different fact. And they're made in different places. This was made in Africa or Egypt, whereas my whale transformation mask was made in North and Central America. I want you to make sure that you put those similarities and differences right here in this Google form and press submit. That's going to send your answer straight to me. And that's all I'm asking for art this week. We're focusing on comparing and contrasting the similarities and differences between two pieces of art. And I wanted everyone to be able to find two pieces of art that they love. So I hope you guys have fun exploring the Met Kids website. And I'll see you next week.